let's start off by converting an Akai CD. As you can see in the Akai Convert window that appears, it is waiting for me to insert an Akai formatted CD. The Akai CD format is actually a proprietary one and cannot be read natively by the Macintosh operating system, so it is necessary to have this Akai Convert window open whenever I want to read the samples from an Akai CD. The structure of an Akai CD is made up of partitions, which contain volumes, volumes which contain programs, and a variety of audio files that are associated with a given program. Akai programs are equivalent to the EXS sampler instruments looked at previously. This window provides a great deal of flexibility, allowing you to individually import partitions, volumes, and programs, or even convert the entire CD at once. For this lesson, I'll just be importing a single program. However, it is advisable that you convert an entire CD at once whenever possible. It takes a little bit more time beforehand, but offers a great deal more flexibility for rearranging within the Macintosh Finder, as well as saving valuable time that would be spent in a session searching and importing specific Akai sounds. There are a few things that are advisable to do before you start the import process. By entering a name within the Save Converted Instrument Files into Subfolder box, I can have the EXS create a folder to contain the newly imported programs. The default instrument output volume setting just below is an important one to set before the import process begins. Depending on the type of sampler instrument you'll be importing, different volume output settings are desirable. The default of minus 6 dB works well for most cases. However, when importing a drum-style sampler instrument, a minus 3 dB setting is advised. Because of the need for more headroom when stacking voices, a minus 9 dB setting works best when importing polyphonic instruments. I also want to make sure that the Create Interleave Stereo Files Whenever Possible box is checked. This takes up less disk space and is Logic's native format for writing stereo files. When converting, new sampler instruments are created based on the imported Akai programs and audio files are placed within an automatically created Akai samples folder placed within your Logic user settings. I'll be showing you this location in the Finder later on in the lesson. When I close the Akai Convert window, the CD is automatically ejected. Now that the conversion is done, let's go ahead and hear the sampler instrument we just imported. 